Well, there's a new push to electrify the way you get your mail. Rhode Island joining more than a dozen states in suing the U.S. Postal Service in an effort to get the agency to switch from gas-powered vehicles to electric. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joining us live this morning with more on what the state's attorney general is saying about this. Hey, good morning, Patrick and Danielle. We're live this morning outside a post office facility here in East Providence. Now, the U.S. Postal Service is currently in the process of modernizing its fleet, which as it stands right now includes tens of thousands of older vehicles that lack simple safety features like airbags, for example. They also get pretty poor gas mileage. And as the agency works to replace those older vehicles, a number of states, including Rhode Island, are pushing for those new vehicles to be electric. So in a lawsuit that was filed last week, 16 states in the District of Columbia are pushing to stop USPS from purchasing thousands of, quote, gas guzzling trucks, claiming that these vehicles would cause environmental harm for decades. Now, specifically, the lawsuits target the environmental review that's behind the agency's purchase of about 140,000 new vehicles over the next 10 years. They claim the Postal Service's purchase plan which calls for about 10% of that new fleet to be electric, fails to comply with the National Environmental Policy Act. In a statement, Attorney General Peter Narona says, quote, we are asking for the court to vacate the USPS's fossil fuel-centered fleet replacement plan, prevent any future plan that does not comply with federal environmental law, and require USPS to properly consider options allowing for more widespread use of electric delivery vehicles that would help curb greenhouse gas emissions, end quote. Now, Massachusetts and New Hampshire are the only New England states that didn't sign on to this lawsuit. We have much more detail right now on our website, WPRI.com. Live in East Providence, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.